This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights China issues today. are still. The term Ubuntu. A alien and sedition accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Ho Franklin Center. You may be uh, like me. Uh, you may not. You may have um, alert, worldly, reflective, historically canny relatives who understand their place in the world. Um, but I didn't come from that kind of family. There was the family who might be found on any given afternoon of sociable visiting discussing at great length the hors d'oeuvres we had eaten at the bar mitzvah and who the caterer was. And we might be discussing uh, how Marcia got divorced and how she was probably never going to find anyone else, what with how fat she'd become. <laughs> and this was the kind of conversation typical uh, in, uh, in my family. Uh, my relatives kindly, as, as you'll see, but that we might be tied or connected to, uh, that we might be part of, that our family genealogy might somehow be embedded in any of the great movements of modernity um, seemed to me simply impossible. Uh, reconstruction progressivism, the rise of the nation state, uh, nationalism, imperialism, municipal reform, industrialization, electrific electrification, rural mail delivery, a big one, um, political emancipation, the rise of media and advertising, even the rise of an institution like the department store, which trans has transformed all of our lives. The connections between my family uh, and any of those major currents of modern history uh, seem to me for most of my life frustratingly tenuous. I think, in fact, that uh, my relatives and whom, who are represented in this book uh, by my dear three aunts, Jean Myrtle and Fanny, my great aunts, Jean, and I have to, I, it's a way of paying honor to them and, and loving their memory that I imitate their voices. Um, my family now asks me to do this. They were all very deaf, one deafer than the next, and they would call themselves Jean Myrtle, <laughs> you'd hear them on the phone, and Fanny. <laughs> and when they would talk to each other, it would be, you know, Myrtle, Fanny, sort of like that. Their apartments were full of blinking lights to let them know when the doorbell was ringing. Uh, and they would discuss the hors d'oeuvres in those accents. In any case, my aunts Jean Myrtle and Fanny were, I think, not just wary of history, but afraid of history. Uh, not just um, indifferent to what it was that had produced the kind of life, and you may have relatives not, not indifferent to what had produced the kind of life they lived, but in some way frightened of uh, of what had produced their successes and these larger currents of history uh, that had also uh, at times wreaked disaster on them. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.